There we go. Look at the uh, Dell Inspron 15Z uh, Ultrabook. And basically, I've had this for about three years and now it's um, the fans starting to make some noise. Because it's the new, uh, new fan off of eBay. Cost me about $27. Turned up in about two days. Quite easy to get. Also need a Phillips screwdriver to do this job. And I, I recommend you can use a knife or something sharp, but something plastic. This is. I don't know if you can hear that. What's the fan starting to make some noise now? And obviously it needs replacing. So we'll go ahead and shut this down. Right, I guess it's all shut down. Uh, so basically, we need to go to the back. Well, you may need a needle, something sharp. So we go ahead and pull these screws out. Just make sure you have them all out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. As we can see, we need to remove the ram. Simply pull that out of there. Quite simple. So only has one. You can put an extra one in this side. Maybe. There's a little clip here. It's this one here. Just need to push that out. Hard drive will, uh, the DVD drive will come straight out, like such. And then you'll find a couple of extra screws, and one extra screw here that needs to be undone. Okay, now that we have the seven screws out here, the one out here, and there's also one just in here, which you want to undo. Okay, so we have all those out, then we're going to flip it over. Okay, now we're going to take the keyboard out. Now, in the top here, there are little clips. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so basically you just want to go put the um, plastic edge in the edge here. And then use a little flat tool and just push each one of these forward. That was not going to work, so take this little edge that I've got here and just gently push them all the way forward. Some down the side as well. Make sure you get them out. Just be gently and it's always over. Now if you don't want to yank on it too much, you've got some wires there. <coughs> you just want to do these quite simply. The little tags. Just lift the tag up and then they pull out this tag up. And it pulls out. And there's your keyboard. You don't need to replace that. It's quite simple. Okay. Now we have some more screws. One there, one there, one there, and one over there.
And we also have some extra, some more wires with more tabs. So just simply lift the tab up and then pull them out. It is attached to the whole bezel at the front we want to pull off. So um, I just want to lift it up a little bit. And if you look at it from this edge, lift it up. You can see it's coming away at this point here. So then we just want to work our way around the edge. And I'll clip that. So if we lift that, we can get our little plastic edge in there and just simply work it around. Yeah. So there you go, the front bezel is off. Okay, now that we have the fascia plate off, to get to the fan we need to pull the motherboard out because the fan is um, attached from the other side. So basically we need to undo um, a few screws which hold the motherboard in and undo all the uh, attachments so to let it go. So we have these little tags here where the wires are attached and basically we just want to unattach one end of it because this is attached to um, the USB um, peripherals on this end. So basically you just grab the tag, hold the motherboard so it doesn't lift up and then just pull it out. So that one's been disattached. And then we have two, this is our um, internet um, WAN, whatever you want to call it. There's two wires on that. So they just basically lift off. You don't want to you can pull that off if you want to, but we don't want to do that. We have our video cable that runs our monitor. So it has a little cover on it. And then we can pull that out. That one pulls out. So that one's disconnected. There's another cable that runs down through here. We just gently lift it out of that little, it's just taped on, lift the tape up, lift it out, and then disconnect it out of there, so that it's disconnected. We have a screw here, now that I'll do that screw, and it has an earth, earth strap on it from that cable also, so we we'll pull that one out, and the video cable now detached. We have two more screws here. So I think we can leave that one on there. That's fine. Now, because the battery, this is the battery, because it's attached, we probably want to pull it out in one piece. So there's a few screws around the battery. This is your speakers. It's attached by a little cable. Just disconnected. Now I think we should be right to lift this out. Alright, we have to undo this screw. Looks like it goes right through. There we go. And that is our motherboard. Gently pull out. There we go. So that can come out. Okay, we'll to go into the stay in one piece. Yeah. Okay. So, you don't have to pull, you can pull that off if you like the battery, simply just unclips, makes it easier to handle, that's the battery, 
And that's the hard drive, it also just pops out. Hard drive. Simple as that. So there's the motherboard. That means from 15Z. Alright, that's disconnect the uh, fan. So, first of all, we want to just disconnect this little wire. Power wire the fan, make it work. There we go. Three screws. And there we have it. Difficult to lose these three screws. I think they'll actually stay in there. And that's all out, so they're actually held in there by themselves. So there's the fan. Okay. Yeah, the fan has a heatsink attached to it. Um, and it's not the simplest thing to replace the heatsink. You can buy these fans without the heatsink attached to it. They're actually um, glued in. Like a into the thing and then they have a little tape on there. So you can do it if you wanted to. A bit of mucking around. Um, for the dollars, I find it probably just as simple just to buy one with the heatsink attached. You're not mucking around with trying to detach and re-glue um, the heatsink into here. Okay, now that you've got your new, the new fan, basically we want to clean up this little pad here with a heatsink attached to it, which is just here. It's got some paste on there. One thing you want to do is when you buy your fan, ask if it has some paste. There's some, it comes in a little tube generally. It's a bit of heatsink compound or heat heatsink paste. Um, because you need that so it can read the temperatures through your uh, motherboard. <coughs> you want some um, alcohol wipes. Can generally use some, even a KFC um, hand cleaner that you buy, you, you get from KFC or any of the supermarkets, uh, the fast food stores. Sorry. Basically, you just want to clean the germ, just clean the old heat heat paste off. There we go, nice and clean, as you can see. So, basically what you want to do is take a little bit of this paste, not too much. You don't need much of it. Whoops. And just... You want to smear it a thin layer. Just on top there. Even layer. Don't have to get any air bubbles in it. Any excess. Swipe that off. As you can see, I don't need too much. Clean off any overburden. There we go. Now you have a small layer on there. You can simply install your new heatsink. So just gently sit it in the right position. And screw down the screws. And there you have it.
remember to plug in the wire and you're back in business one new fan should be nice and quiet once you put it all back together just follow the reverse order of pulling the whole thing apart and um, you'll have a next to new Inspiration uh, 15Z Ultrabook. Thanks for watching my video. Um, please like it if you find it helpful. Um,